but I was telling you that I have even more, you know, to cover. Um, yeah, let's move on to, to the package that is called Structural Analysis for Dynamo Package. Um, we all know that currently projects are getting more complex and they need more design solutions to find the optimal one, more design options. Uh, an answer to this challenge is, is could be, can be Dynamo. Um, Dynamo lets you um, create uh, visual logic to explore parametric designs, design options, and automate many tasks. Uh, the structural analysis for Dynamo package enables parametric modeling and structural analysis workflows in Dynamo and robot structural analysis professional. This package was developed to help structural engineers faster and easier uh, model complex structural geometries for analysis. Dynamo is not used only to create really quickly and automatically uh, some classic and standard designs. It's very often used to handle very complex, uh, fancy geometrical um, shapes that wouldn't be able, that you wouldn't be able to model using um, classic manual uh, approach. Right, and this is this is a, a perfect example um, how you can model very complex uh, structures and use them for analysis. This is a collection of uh, of nodes and what they do uh, that you can find uh, in that package. And this slide shows you a standard process workflow when uh, when the package is being used. So based on the dynamo geometry, uh, structural engineers create an analytical model this time, not the physical like in the Revit case. Uh, actually, uh, in Revit we create both physical and the analytical. So here we create only the analytical model. And then we apply uh, section shapes to this model. Uh, we define boundary condi conditions such as supports and releases. And uh, also you can create defined load cases and apply loads to your structure and for, for specific uh, load cases. Uh, what is really cool thing about this approach, any time you uh, change your, uh, the geometry of your structure, Loads will be recalculated if you have uh, a definition of, of your loads in your Dynamo script and reassigned. So all geometrical cha changes will also impact uh, calculation of loads. And once uh, and um, and it's not about modeling only. You can also automatically run analysis from within Dynamo and start this analysis and, and robot structure analysis software and, uh, and retrieve results. Retrieve re results in the Dynamo environment, right? So there are some special nodes to display, uh, to list maximum forces, displacements, and these, this data can be used later. If you have some solutions for code checking, you could connect it, right? Or you could extract it to Excel and do whatever you want to do. Uh, there are some cool nodes you can find in Dynamo even to visualize MY moments, shear forces, and, and stuff like that. Yeah, this, this video um, shows you um, the package in action. So this is my portal frame I have defined here. It's fully parameterized, so if I make any you know, changes to parameters, everything is connected and it's uh, updated on the, on the fly. So I can control placement of, of my frame elements. And once it's done, I need to define, once my geometry is done, I'm applying sections, boundary conditions, there is a, a group of nodes that help 